Welcome back everyone, AR Comics here, and today I've got so much cool stuff to unbox for you guys. I've got a few other things to show off that I picked up over this weekend. But before we get started on any of that, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down low, the little bell to get notified every time I drop new content, you won't regret it. And if you don't mind, hit that like and comment button as well. Let me know what you like about it, what you don't like, even things you want to see. So let's get started. This weekend I went to a couple different shops. Uh, one of my usual shops, there's like a store that opened up next door to it, and you know, it, it did, I didn't really know exactly what they sold because they're only on, open on the weekends, but it said Funko Pops on the sign, so I said screw it. Checked it out, they had so much more. They had like action figures, toys, collectibles, like everything you could possibly think of that wasn't comic book related. They had it. I went in there looking look at Pops, I found a sweet little combo con, it's going to look perfect next to my near mint copy of her first appearance. And, you know, I also found this sweet statue, too. Big fan of Daredevil, Punisher. This one's obviously based off the TV show, Season 2. You know, he's got his mask here. It's cracked down the center. I thought it was cool. Picked them both up for, like, 40 bucks. Can't complain. Move that off to the side. You know, I'm going to leave that. Ah, screw it. I'll put it back. All right. Moving on to the good stuff. First up, I picked up Thor 339. You know what that is. First appearance of Stormbreaker. Not a huge key, but, you know, a little minor thing. Got hot for a little bit after Comic Tom talked about it because, you know, everything he talks about, you know, it's going to get hot. Everyone thinks they have to invest in it. Here I am, months later, made the investment. Dirt cheap. Cool. Moving on. This one, you know, I don't... <sighs> Guardians of the Galaxy 23. I don't exactly remember... Um, why it's kind of a minor key. I know it has something to do with the symbiotes and like the symbiote world. And most likely that all ties in with Null. I can't remember though. If you do remember, let me know down low. And uh, I'd appreciate it. Either way, I'll look it up. I'll remember. I'll comment just so you guys know. So those are the cool things that I picked up at my shop. I had some store credit. I really wasn't hunting too hard. But I had like 38 bucks, And I picked them both up for like... 35 or 30 they're both pretty near mint they're very nice copies so i'm not too disappointed in that and now we can move on to the unboxings now i know if you saw the thumbnail you're probably thinking those are totally different boxes kind of but no i opened the ball first because i'm gonna be honest i hate watching unboxing videos and you're just sitting there like fucking fiddling with the thing like oh my god like let's move on with it so i opened them all up first save you all that hassle first up I'm very excited to read this, like super excited. I wasn't able to pick it up this last week, but No Heroin by Frank Gogol, number one. My shop had like no copies of it. They picked up two, and I think they're for subscription people only. I forgot to pre-order it. It happens. Uh, if you don't know who Frank Gogol is, he wrote Dead End Kids. Now I'm sure you remember who he is, because that was a pretty fun read. Another Source Point Press issues, and yeah, pretty fun. Uh, if you check it out, it's selling for like $14 to $20 on eBay right now. I picked it up for 8 I got super lucky. Still more than cover price, but hey, better than nothing. I'm going to save this one for last because it's a whole bunch of uh, big stuff that... Just a bunch of fillers. This one. So, everyone asks me, they're like, why do you buy off eBay? Why do you buy off eBay so much? I've never had like a real bad um, like purchase. I usually get good deals and then... You know, I'm usually pretty happy with what I buy. And today I was opening, I was like, nice, I got two eBay purchases, which this was one of them, and it came very well packaged. This one, however, I opened it, I was like, god damn, man, like, what's up? So I bought, uh, let's see, it's three, six, I bought eight issues. So I bought eight issues, it's Moonshine. So yeah, it's a pretty cool image. Um, and this is just how they came. No no bags, no boards, just flopped on in there. And you know, they're fucking dinged up on the edges. I mean, they all got, they're all spine ticked to hell. They didn't show that in the pictures, obviously. Um, this one, he threw in two issues in number three. I wonder why, because this one's got like water damage or something damage. I don't know. Um, I, I, either way, you know, it's moonshine. I was really excited because the first one was pretty good. And, I don't know. Alright, so I had a bad eBay purchase. It happens, I guess. But, you know, these eight issues I spent with shipping, like, 13 bucks. I guess I wasn't sure what I expected. But Moonshine, 
you know, it's got like some mobsters, you know, it takes place back in the day when, you know, alcohol was pretty much outlawed and uh, some big guy from New York sends one of his people into, you know, the sticks of Virginia where all the rednecks are and, you know, he wants his moonshine, he makes good shit and he wants it for all of his New York clubs and he gets there and he pretty much figures out exactly what it is. It's like what you'd probably expect, some dudes out in the middle of nowhere, all hicks, probably inbred, you know what they do. And, uh, you know, he just sees some redneck life and his, like, operation. They killed some FBI agents that came snooping. And, you know, they just don't give a shit. That's what they do out there. Um, so, I'm excited to read the rest of it. Super excited to read all my dinged up, banged issues, but can't all be winners. Next package. Uh, this one came from, this one is an Instagram auction win. These were all eBay auction wins. This one came from First Responder Comics. If you're on Instagram watching this, you all know who he is already because most of you have probably bought from him. Good dude. Packages things very well. It obviously didn't just come laying in a box. He had it wrapped up. It was real nice. Uh, more filler issues pretty much, but they're nice ones. Uh, this is the whole Venom series. Not the whole thing, but you know, they're all Venom issues. So Venom 8. I guess I should have went in order. Venom 6, nice Cosmic Ghost Rider variant cover. And then I just showed off Venom 8. Next up, we have Venom 10, the Stan Lee tribute cover. Also another nice one. And man, this cover, this cover is so nice. War of the Realms, it's uh, Venom 15. I love it. Super nice. Jordan, First Bonner Comics, thank you so much for that. Uh, packaging was great. Issues are great. All nice condition, just like you, just like you said they would be. Moving on to the last package. This one came from my comic shop. Uh, I ordered it, you know, I, I ordered it just because I needed some fillers. So I was able to complete a couple different runs. As you all know, if you've been following me, which you should. If you're not following me on Instagram, same thing, AR underscore comics. I drop daily content. It's awesome. Uh, Gideon Falls, it's like my new obsession. I thought this was going to complete the series for me. Uh, Gideon Falls 21, it's just cover A. Turns out I had cover B the whole time. So I still need 20 and then it's completed. It's it's a sweet run. Uh, Jeff Lemire did a fantastic job on it. I'm not going to show off all these covers because it's a ton of them, but another one I've recently been talking about, trying to complete, I haven't read any of it yet, but Southern Bastards by Jason Aaron. I got... Two, four, six, eight, nine issues. Well, with this, ten issues. Completed the run. I can't wait to give it a read. Most of them are all first uh, first print. A couple of them are second or third print. Not complaining. And especially if you're following the new modern day, uh, new modern books. Turns out third prints are the good ones. Nobody wants first prints anymore. It's all about the first cover appearance. And the final thing that I got, I can now completed Redneck. I got issues two, nine, and 19. So, got some cool stuff. No major keys, no big things. But I wanted to show it all off for you guys. A lot of people uh, they ask me, show it off. They like unboxings. I love unboxing. You never know what you're going to get. So, I thought it was pretty cool stuff. Glad I was able to show it off for you. You know, Redneck Vampire Series, Texas, East Texas. Donnie Cates does nothing wrong, so fantastic read. If you guys have read Southern Bastards, let me know. I've heard very good things, plus it's Jason Aaron, and everything he does is pretty awesome as well. And man, I already know Gideon Falls is the shit, so. And for the other ones, uh, appreciate it, Jordan. Awesome books. What'd you guys think about all my pickups? I went out over the weekend, got some cool stuff. Nothing too crazy, but let me know what you guys picked up this weekend. I know everyone else likes to go out. It's your time off from work and life and whatever else else you do. So appreciate you watching. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. And with that, have a good night.